Howdy folks. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. I recently took a little mental health drinking vacation. That's a vacation from drinking. And this coincided with my computer going on the fritz, so I actually ended up taking a little break from making videos as well. So I had a little bit of time on my hands, and I decided to take up a, a hobby that I had been sort of working on on and off for quite a while. And that hobby is bottle cutting. Now, as a cocktail person, I'm sure you understand, uh, you end up emptying a lot of bottles. Some of them are really cool looking, and I keep those around to serve water out of. Some of them look great on the windowsill. Some are pretty plain, but get used to hold syrups and shrubs and whatnot. Some are just weird and get thrown out. Now, I belong to a mezcal club that sends me two half bottles of mezcal every other month. Uh, they're called Mage Malete, and they are awesome. Uh, these are very special mezcals from very small producers um, in very rural parts of Mexico. The mezcal's really good, and the bottles are pretty cool. They're these sort of, I don't know if they're hand-blown or handmade, but they're sort of very irregular, wavy, green glass bottles. Now, these are too cool to throw away, but they're kind of a weird shape, uh, with, and the, the bottleneck is kind of stumpy and weird, so they're not great for syrups. So they, they take up a lot of room in the fridge without holding a lot. So my idea was I could take these cool bottles, sort of cut the tops off, and then I'll have these sort of cool agave-themed sort of old-fashioned glasses. You know, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be fun. Now, there's a couple of issues with this plan. First of all, I know nothing about bottle cutting. Uh, I'm not really very handy. Um, and so starting up a new hobby always has a lot of sort of uh, fear, I guess. Uh, just a lot of insecurity about, uh, is this going to work? Am I going to screw it up? Is this going to be a total waste of time or money? You know, stuff like that. Uh, you have to buy equipment or whatever, um, and maybe your idea won't come out to be as cool as you think it's going to be. Which, of course, it never comes out perfect the first time. you got to sort of work on your hobbies to get good at them. But I figured, you know, let's just try a new thing. It'll be bad at first, and that's okay. So well, that's a nice uplifting message from your Uncle Pete. It's okay to be bad at your hobbies. So the second issue with this is that I already have a ton of glasses that I really like that are really nice. Um, I don't really need more glasses, so I don't know. Stick around to the end of the video. Maybe we can work something out with that. So to get started with this hobby, I bought this thing. It's called a Kinkajou. Um, it's designed for cutting bottles, I guess. Uh, I think in retrospect this maybe wasn't the best place to start. It's a little bit hard to use, it's a little bit awkward. Um, I watched videos and stuff that made it seem really easy, but it, it, it didn't really work that well. Now this could be because the device is very, maybe not designed that great. Uh, it could be just that I'm not being careful enough or not doing something right, or it could be these bottles. Now the idea with this is you score a line in the glass around the bottle where you want to cut it. You pour hot water and then cold water on the glass. That sort of thermally shocks it and makes it crack along the score. And then you will just use sandpaper and whatnot to smooth out the edges. But it's supposed to crack sort of in a straight line. Now I found when using these bottles, which are pretty sort of uneven, they, they're very, they vary in thickness. The walls of the glass are different thicknesses. They're kind of wavy. Uh, there's a lot of little bubbles in them. They're sort of, they're not very regular, and they, I could not get them to crack in a straight line. I also had a lot of trouble with this device uh, getting the score to line up. So you start at one spot, go around the glass, and inevitably it would be offset a little bit when I got to the other side. So that could be me, or just I need to work out a better system. So these sort of rustic, uneven bottles are kind of why I thought they'd make cool glasses, but also is making it hard to do this hobby. So yeah, I had some trouble with this. Uh, I had a lot of failures before I got anything close to a usable glass. Um, so this was all a bit frustrating. It worked. Oh my god, one fucking one of these worked good. So I eventually got a few that worked out okay, uh, but they all still had some very uneven edges and some rough spots. Um, they were really far from perfect. I did sand them, but sanding them didn't seem to do enough. I, I couldn't, I was never going to be able to sand down these big uneven areas. So I went ahead and I bought a Dremel. Uh, a Dremel is like a little handheld drill kind of thing. You can put different attachments in the end. So it comes with these little sort of sanding discs or like grinding cylinders or something. Uh, so I figured I could sort of, I don't know, shave down the uneven areas and try and get a little more even. I got on my safety equipment. 
and I went ahead and went at it with this Dremel. Now, this was pretty tedious, but it worked, and it worked okay and not terrible. I'm not sure if I'm using like the right attachments for this Dremel. Uh, if you're out there and you know anything about like grinding glass down with a Dremel tool, let me know in the comments. The Dremel did come with these little buffing wheels and this um, buffing compound, but that actually worked pretty well to sort of do the final smoothing of the of the edge. So in the end, they're kind of a rustic, I don't know, they have a different handmade feel to them. And uh, I'll have to wait till I empty a few more mezcal bottles to try again. So that leads to my next issue, of course, which is that now I've got a bunch of glasses that I don't really have a good use for. I already have plenty of nice glasses, as I said before. So I thought maybe as a reward to my loyal viewers, uh, I would go ahead and give some of these away. So what I've got is two sets of two glasses that are not bad, you know, not perfect, obviously. But if you would like them and you'd like to, you could have a use for them, comment below or on my Instagram post about this video. Uh, what you would, what drink you would make and put in these glasses. I'll pick something just based on my whim, slanted towards people who comment first, who are the early uh, watchers of my videos, and people who watch till the end, because if you don't watch to the end, you won't be getting this message. And um, also, if you live in Portland, that's probably an advantage because these are gonna be kind of heavy to ship, uh, and maybe I could just drop it off at your house. Another reason I'm not super keen to ship them is this one, which is just sitting on the shelf, minding its own business and it just sort of spontaneously cracked i don't know it developed a crack i didn't drop it or anything it just sort of cracked mir miraculously so these may or may not even survive the shipping but we'll see all right that's it let me know what you think if you want these glasses uh let me know what you would do with them uh and uh thanks for watching well we'll see you next time